became lazy. I mean, I didn't care about it. I just stopped caring completely and just thought I could do something else. And, you know, for some reason in my mind, I was, like, I wanted to drop out of school so I could work at Jack in the Box. I don't know. I don't know why. But that's what I did. Just me, nah, just me making bad decisions, being lazy, being a teenager. Still am a teenager. Probably make more bad decisions. <laughs> like, I don't know, this is the biggest, smallest town I can think of. <laughs> Some guy had in drive through at work. It's fucking crazy shit, man. I don't remember what he ordered. I didn't take his order. I had just gotten there and I had handed it back out. And she was just going at it and he was like, thanks, dog. I don't even know if he said thanks or he didn't say anything. He just kind of grabbed the bag and drove away. And I just kind of like was in awe. You know, like, did I really just see that? It's just, <laughs> wouldn't expect that. I guess it lightens up your work day. Fucking, I know this guy that got like HIV or AIDS or I think HIV had turned into AIDS or whatever the case may be. He got HIV from the bitch and he like had sex in the water. It could be from the girl or maybe it could be from the dirty ass water. Or like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he definitely got HIV from having sex with somebody in the water. That's pretty much a bro. Like, Sam bro a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Board shorts and flip flops and tank tops. You know, because they spend like 24 hours a day fucking working out. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny just to see him like just hooting and hollering, you know, fucking over nothing. And, you know, they're just trying to cause a, you know, getting everybody to look at him. They just think they're so cool. I don't know, it's just funny. Paradise, because you know all the all the people on the boats and the bridge and the uh, the mountains and stuff. But really, it's just like a shitty little town with a bunch of drug addicts and you know mess labs and whatnot. You know, I've seen the guy piss himself on heroin, <laughs> just sitting there, just pissing himself, and just continuing on with his conversation. And not even realizing it's even happening. <laughs> Somebody had to like tell him that it was happening and to go clean up. Because it was like on somebody's couch. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, this place seems like it would be awesome, you know, until you live here and really experience you know, shit that can happen. If you put yourself around the right people, maybe it would be a really good place, but there's a lot of bad people surrounding it, so. Anybody can do that job. Absolutely anybody. And if you have somewhat of a fucking brain, you can do the job. And that's at least over 90% of the population. It depends where you are, I guess. It's just, I feel like I can be doing a lot more. Like I wake up at 3.30 in the morning to go flip burgers and make 60 bucks in a day. And a pro skateboarder gets up whenever the fuck he wants unless he has some fucking demo or some bullshit to go do. And he doesn't have to go flip burgers to change fire oil. He gets to go do a tray flip down some fat set. And that's not fair at all. <laughs> I was taking any job that I could possibly get. It wasn't just fast food. I was applying everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I just went, walked up and down McCulloch and Swanson for weeks. And I just kept going, and I just kind of gave up on everybody else. And I, for some reason, I just 
with the Jack in the Box. I don't know. And I just went there like three days in a row, and then by the fourth day they called me back, and then I got a job. And it's my first job and my only job. So it's all right right now, you know, working fucking full time. in this town, I don't feel lonely. I might feel like, I, I want to say secluded, but that's almost the same thing, but like, I don't feel lonely necessarily. I don't, I don't, I don't feel loneliness, but I feel maybe like I, if I was out somewhere else, I could be doing something better with my life as of right now. I could be looking up for something cooler to do, like be more places that are, might be funner to work at than Jack in the Box that I could maybe get the same amount of pay or I don't know, there's just a lot more to do. You know, there's only so many I, options I have in this town. My dad got me a fishing pool and then a tackle box and all that stuff, and I found out about the uh, fishing dock. It made me happy because I actually can do something that I don't have to, you know, spend money for. I can go spend like two bucks to go get some worms at the fishing place and then just go out fishing with my girlfriend and just sit there and chill. It's something to do. It's just something to do. Even though I, I don't have to catch a single thing, it's just fun. I was supposed to fight this one guy, and I told him I would, and we were yelling about a fucking stupid argument that meant absolutely nothing, and we were squaring up about the fight, and I got hit from behind, and then I know one of them kicked me in the ribs, and I got hit, like my head hit the concrete a few times. I think I hit one guy, and he got mad, and then he hit me one more time, like real good, and then they all kind of stopped and were yelling at me, and like called me a pussy and shit, and then I just kind of waited until they would stop, and so they left, and once they left, I just got up and skated home. You can't let it get to you. I didn't feel like a, you know, I didn't, it wasn't even a fair fight. I didn't feel like any less of a fucking bitch or a fucking man or whatever you want to say. Like, you know, those guys are just a bunch of fucking pussies and all put together like this super vagina. In a way, I look up to really anybody that can, that has like done something, you know, meaningful and fucking worth the time with their life. I don't know. Anybody that is just fucking just know what they're doing, I guess. You're just going off what you think at that moment in time. You act off emotions. You think one thing now and think a different thing later, so. This is gonna sound kind of cliche, but it's totally fucking sick. I don't know word for word, but uh, it's, you know, you point your fingers and make sure your hands are clean. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? You know, don't fucking, don't judge other people when you're the fucking same way, pretty much. You know, like don't fucking, don't judge people, I suppose. So it's like, you can go to a movie and you can go out to dinner and you can come home. It's like there's just nothing like, it's just, there's nothing, man. There's nothing to do, but like, you make light of it. 
you know, because you're just around the people that you that you love, I guess. And they're just, I don't know. Somehow in this shitty little fucking place, I have fun. Like, and I. kind of like proud to be from here in a way because it's like I, I grew up here like I, everything I've done for the first time has been here like I drank my first beer and I smoked weed here lost my virginity here had my first girlfriend here everything literally for the first time I was done here so it's like I feel so attached to this place you know so in a way like I love this place but I fucking hate it too cool place to fucking one day just be super rich and just have a house here and just come out here during the winter and play golf for an hour and then leave on your jet. <laughs> yeah. But for now, I'm staying here, I guess. Making it work.